Hey everyone, in this video we are talking about the tangent ratio that you're going to use in the trigonometry unit. So, tan is just short for tangent if you're wondering. And remember our rhyme, so Katoa. The toa part represents tangent, T is for tangent. So, tan of any degree number equals O is for opposite divided by A is adjacent. So let's do an example and show you how to use the formula. So I have a triangle like this. The first thing we need to do is figure out what angle we're talking about. And I'll say that this angle is theta at it's equal to 30 degrees. From this angle, the opposite side is the one across from it. The adjacent side, and well we have two to pick from, two sides. The other side would be hypotenuse. Draw an arrow through your 90 degree angle, it points to the hypotenuse, which a side can't be opposite and adjacent, or hypotenuse and adjacent. So this side, by default, is the adjacent side. So let's say we know the adjacent side is our unknown and the opposite side is 6 meters. We want to find the adjacent side, so just go to your formula up here and plug in everything you know. We know that theta equals 30 degrees. We know that tan of any theta equals opposite divided by adjacent. Opposite is 6. Adjacent, we don't know. Um, all I need to do is think of this as a cross-multiplication question. Tan of 30 degrees is the same as tan of 30 degrees divided by 1. So all I need to do is multiply those two numbers, 6 times 1, and divide by what's left over, tan 30, and that'll equal my unknown. 6 times 1 is 6, divided by tan 30, tan of 30, is just some horrible decimal. And we'll go on our calculator, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. We'll go tan of 30, and I get that's equal to the decimal 0 0.577. So 6 divided by 0 0.577 equals the length of the adjacent side. And I get that adjacent is equal to about 10.4, said it was meters in the question, so the adjacent side would be about 10.4 meters. So let's change that to 10.4. And let's do another question where it's the opposite side that's our unknown. So let's say that the adjacent is equal to 20 meters. Um, our angle here, theta, let's say that's equal to, I don't know, 24 degrees. And this time we're solving for opposite. So plug in everything you know into the equation. Tan of theta equals 24 degrees is opposite, so our unknown, over adjacent is 20 meters. The opposite of dividing by 20 will be multiplying by 20. So I'll do that to both sides. My 20s will cancel out. And I'll get just my variable equals 20 times tan 24 degrees. On my calculator, I'll go tan 24 equals about 0 0.445. And keep as many decimal places as you want. If you round this just to 0 0.4, then your length for x is going to be not quite accurate. The real value might be like 9.5 and you might have figured out it was like 9.7 or something, you're just going to be off by a little bit. In my calculator, I'm going 20 times 0 0.445, and I get 8.9 equals x, so my opposite side was equal to 8.9. Now, tan of negative 1 is different than what we've been doing. You use tan of negative 1 when you know the length of all the sides, or at least the opposite and adjacent sides, let's say that's theta, and we know the opposite side is 10 meters, 
and the adjacent is 7, not centimeters, the adjacent side is 7 meters, and we want to figure out what's the measure of theta. Is it 25 degrees, 30 degrees? We don't know. It's something. So what we'll do is forget about the negative 1 for a sec and just plug it into the formula we've been using. This time, theta is our unknown. Opposite 10 and adjacent is 7. I'll just go on my calculator. 10 divided by 7 and I'll get that equals the decimal 1.43. So to get theta by itself, I need to separate it from the tan. Think of that as tan over 1. If I multiplied by 1 over tan, my tans would cancel out. What you do to one side, you need to do to the other. My tans cancel out, I'll be left with theta, and I'll be left over here with 1.43 times 1 over tan. 1 over tan, think of that as being equivalent to tan negative 1. And you just want to write tan negative 1 in front of the number, <coughs> whatever the decimal was. And this is when you use second function tan on your calculator. So I'll go second function tan 1.43 equals, I get 55.0. So let's say that theta equals 55 degrees.